Hi guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be making checkered bucket hat. I'm using milk cotton 5 ply, so you need two colors. And then the hook size is 4 mm. If your tension is too tight, so I suggest you use bigger size hook, so 4.5 or 5 mm. To start, we are going to use magic circle. So I'll just show you how to do that. So wrap your yarn, insert your hook, and then pull this uh, strand inside. You twist that. You're not gonna do anything. Just hold the yarn from your hook and release your fingers. Now grab your working yarn and let's start crocheting. You now have a circle. You chain two. This chain two does not count as your stitch. So to start, make 12 double crochet inside your circle. So here's the first one. Insert your hook, pull through two, and pull through two. Continue doing this. 11 more double crochet inside your magic circle. I now have 12 so now what you want to do is to pull the tail like this pull it as tight as you can and to end this row you need to make a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet so remember your first two chain doesn't count as a stitch so here, insert your hook on top of the first double crochet and slip stitch. Two is an increased row. So for round two, make two double crochet in every stitch. And make sure you're ready to change color now. So chain two. Chain two doesn't count as your stitch. Make two double crochet in the first double crochet. So here, this is the first one, double crochet. Now the second double crochet, don't finish it. So just pull through two, stop right there, drop your first color or your working yarn and grab your second color yarn. You'll finish your double crochet by pulling the second color yarn through the last two chains on your hook like this so you're now you are now working on the second color yarn to continue yarn over and make sure that you're bringing along the first color yarn so insert your hook in the next stitch make a double crochet this is the first one and then two double crochet in the same stitch so this is the second one don't finish because we're changing color again so for this row just two double crochets in each stitch and two double crochet per color so i dropped the orange one i'm working on the blue one now and I'll finish off my second double crochet by pulling that through so now make sure that you're bringing along your yarn and make another two double crochet in the next stitch again for the second double crochet make sure that you are Finishing it off with the second color. So you'll just continue with this pattern by making two double crochet in each stitch. By the end of this row, you should have a total of 24 double crochets.
I finished my second row. We'll do a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. Remember the two chains doesn't count as your stitch. So don't forget that you're bringing along the yarn. So the yarn should be on top of that. So insert your hook and just make a slip stitch. For third row, we're gonna be doing the same alternating color. So I'll, I start with blue. So chain two doesn't count as your stitch make one double crochet into next in the first double crochet the first one and make an increase in the next so two double crochet in the next stitch insert your hook so this is the first double crochet and I'll make another one but again, you don't forget that we are going to change color. So I did not finish that. I'll drop my blue yarn and I'll take the orange one. To finish, just pull through all two. So I'll continue again, one double crochet in the next and then two double crochet in the next to increase. First double crochet, second double crochet in the next, and then another double crochet, but we're not going to finish because we're changing color. There you go. So I'll drop the orange one and I'll take the blue one. Again, reminder you need to bring your yarn along with you or else you'll be weaving ends for hours <laughs> so just continue again the pattern for this increase row will be one double crochet in the next then two double crochet in the next stitch and change color when you are in your increase part I'll just continue with this by the end of this row you should have a total of 36 double crochets so I'll just show you how to do that again drop your yarn and pull through the second color yarn To finish your row three make a slip stitch but as you can see we are changing color now we're changing the alternating color for row four i'm starting with orange now make sure the yarn is on top of the stitch so you can bring it along slip stitch in the first double crochet because chain two doesn't count as your stitch For row four, so increase row again. To start your row four, chain two, doesn't count as your stitch. Make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So this is the first one, second double crochet in the next, and make two double crochet in the third chain so this is your increase this is the first one and the second double crochet in the same stitch but again we're changing color so you're not gonna finish this you drop your orange or whatever color you're working on now and then grab the second color yarn and finish off now we'll continue with this pattern so one double crochet in the next two stitches and then two double crochet in the next so this is the second one so here we're making two double crochet so first one double crochet and then second double crochet we 
we're not gonna finish because we're changing color continue with this pattern until you reach the end of this row and you should have a total of 48 double crochets again that's one double crochet in the next two and then two double crochet in the next that's your increase fifth row will be another increase but to finish your round four make a slip stitch on top of the very first double crochet your chain two doesn't count as your stitch okay so slip stitch and then we'll make another increase row so to increase row five double crochet in the next three stitches and then two double crochet in the next so i'll show you that so chain two doesn't count as your stitch this is your first double crochet second double crochet in the next and then another <coughs> double crochet in the next stitch now for the next one we're making two double crochet to increase your row so we're changing color don't forget that we're changing color every time we increase so just make your double crochet stop right there drop your yarn pick up the other yarn and complete your double crochet so again for row five double crochet in the next three stitches and then two double crochet in the next so there. this is the third stitch one double crochet and then make two double crochets right over there in the next stitch Since, since this is the increase part, I'm not going to finish. I'll drop my yarn. I'll pick up the other yarn. And there you go. Continue with this pattern until you finish the row. And you should have a total of 60 double crochets. again to finish your row just slip stitch on top of the first double crochet now we're again not gonna change our alternating colors i'm still working on the orange one because from now on we're gonna have three rows per color per square just slip stitch and this is gonna be the last row of increase to start row six chain two doesn't count as your stitch make one double crochet in the next four stitches and then make two double crochet in the next stitch so to start there's my first double crochet second So again, this is the increase. I'll make two double crochets in the same stitch. So first, and this is the second one. I'm not going to finish because we need to change color. So I'll drop my yarn. I'll pick up the other color yarn and finish them off. So continue doing this. This is the last row of your increase. One double crochet in the next four stitches and then two double crochet in the last the next continue with this pattern of increase in row six until you finish the row you should have a total of 72 double crochets
we're done with our increased row so i'm just slip stitching this to finish so the size of my crown is six inches this will fit 21 to 23 head circumference or the size of your head if you're making it for a bigger head then you can add um, increased rows or use bigger hook size so we'll continue with the body of our hat so chain two again doesn't count as your stitch so we're making double crochet back loop only i'll show you how to do that so instead of making double crochet in the same loop you will insert your hook in the center of the loops like this v-shape here so insert your hook in the center and make a double crochet from there so again insert your hook in the middle of that two loops and make a double crochet so you're just making the double crochet back loop or the outside loop only there you go so just continue doing this no increases but you change color when you need to so six um, double crochet per color and three rounds per color to make the square of the checkered hat just continue doing this double crochet back loop only with no increase changing color when you need to until you end the row or you finish this row okay guys so we're finished with the first row of the body to finish the row you still need to slip stitch on top of your first double crochet so for the row two to row eight of the body it's gonna be the same so chain two and then you're gonna be making double crochet around changing color of course when you need to just make one double crochet in each stitch and we're not doing back loop only so just the regular double crochet in each stitch around and make sure you change color when you need to so this is row two to row eight and make sure that you're changing alternating colors when you already have total of three rounds or three rows per color until you have eight rows of non-increase. Now I have a total of eight rows so as you can see I change uh, color every time I already have three rows per color so this is a total of eight and now we'll continue with an increase so we're making the brim this is the first row of the brim and we're going to increase and I'll show you how to do that we're chain two not counted as your stitch make one double crochet in the next two stitches it's one and then one more here and make two double crochet in the next stitch so this is your increase so this is one and then make another 
double crochet in the same stitch two then do that again so double crochet into next stitch just one double crochet oops so one double crochet in the next two stitches one double crochet and then in the next make one double crochet again and we're going to be making the increase so two double crochet in the same stitch so first one and the second one so we're changing color so you don't finish that and then we'll just drop and pick up the second color so that's the increase for this first round of the bream one double crochet in the next two and two double crochet in the next this is the second one and we'll make two double crochets here because we're increasing So again guys, for the first row of increase for our brim, our increase will be one double crochet in the next two and then two double crochet in the next. Don't forget that when you need to change color, you have to change color to make the checkered. So I'll continue doing this until I finish this row and I'll meet you right there. To finish this round, so make a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. Now I already have three, so we're changing the alternating colors. I'll start with the orange one again. Slip stitch. So for this row of increase, so this is the second row of your brim, we'll increase again. So chain two. And then make one double crochet in the next three stitches so this is the first one after that make two double crochet in the next so again one double crochet in the next three stitches and then two double crochet in the next so this is my increase next is one double crochet in the next three and then here we're gonna do the increase okay so two i have three and then we'll increase again in this last one one Make another double crochet in the same stitch. Don't finish because we're changing color as you see. And then we'll repeat the increase pattern. So one double crochet in the next three stitches and then two double crochet in the next. And then when you need to change color, just drop your yarn and use the other color. Just continue with this increase pattern until you end row two of your brim. All right guys, so there you go. I finished row two. So you can see it's curving now. So to finish the row, slip stitch on top of your first double crochet. And for this row three, we're going to be increasing again. And this is the last increase of the brim. So one double crochet in the next nine stitches. So chain two first, 
and then make one double crochet in the next nine stitches okay i'll just guide you for this one so just make one double crochet for nine stitches and at the end of this color you'll see you're, you'll increase and make two double crochets in the next okay so there's the first one and the second one in the same stitch then again i'll have to change my color so don't finish and change your color so this is the increase for this round double crochet in the next nine stitches and then on the tenth just make two double crochet in the same stitch change color when you need to and once you finish this row i'll meet you at the end okay guys so we're almost done with your bucket hat so this is the last double crochet row of the brim so what we're going to do is just make double crochet in each stitch no increases of course you have to change color when you need to so first chain two and make one double crochet in each stitch around until you finish this row your chain two doesn't count as your stitch and again just a reminder make sure that you change your color when you need to change color so once you completed this row of non-decrease one double crochet in each stitch then i'll meet you at the end so guys basically your hat is finished now so you can just cut your yarn and wear this with your ends and wear your hat but for me i'm still gonna add one more row of single crochet well, for the accent i choose the color orange so choose whatever color you want but we're not gonna be changing color just one color for the single crochet row so just chain one and then make one single crochet in each stitch no increase until the end of this row And of course guys you need to slip stitch on top of the first single crochet and then your hat is finished I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you make this um, hat uh, feel free to tag me on your post on Instagram or Facebook but if you love this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel you can also tap the bell button so you can be notified when we have new videos so again guys thank you so much i'm just weaving ends now and i have finished the hat and enjoy thanks